I would not want to use the word genocide against the Tutsis. That is not true. That is the first part of an internationally orchestrated lie. It is genocide mm. against the Hutus, period. Mm. It was not the Hutus who suffered genocide. Mm. Seeing that video has reminded me when I was in Rwanda in 1993, before the RPF took over, I traveled from Rwanda and drove through, but I passed by Rohenjeri and went to Gishenyi and came back to Kigali. Now, during that, this is 1993, before RPF took over. In Rohenjeri, there was a football stadium built by a very wealthy local man called Kabuga. The RPF came down the mountains and they took over that territory. Then they started enforcing their new system, which was uh, something like a muchaka muchaka. They rounded up all the local people, but we don't know how many they were. And they filled up that stadium for the purpose of giving them instructions as to what the new Rwanda is going to be like and how it is going to be governed. So the poor local people, men, women, and children came. They stood there in the stadium. And after a few speeches by some army commanders who had already planted strategically around the stadium, their RPF men with machine guns. And at the sound of the whistle, they started mowing down everybody who was in the stadium. All of them were killed. But lucky now, there were two or three who managed to jump the fence and run away. And one of those men who ran away is here in the state of Virginia. He gave us an account when he said that. I said, I remember because I I, I heard of the story and I saw some pictures of the dead bodies. But this is RPF execution of Hutu population for the purpose, as I said, of wiping out these people. The way the Americans are proud of having wiped out 100% of the Red Indians in the present day state of Florida. So you can see who is helping who. These Muzungu are helping the RPF to wipe out the black population, the Bantu people of this region. Why? Why are, are these white people supporting and pumping uh, Kagame and M7 as well to kill our people because they want to control the continent. They are out for our natural resources. And for them, we black people don't matter. That is something which should be in the head of every black person. Even if you are a Tusi, you do not matter. They are now using you to do the dirty job, but just around the corner, they are going to turn against you as well and wipe you out. So the point is extermination of black people, take over the continent, utilize the, our natural resources and enrich their, themselves. Now, earlier on, I mentioned to you about the British control let me just read to you these few sentences so that you can understand. Tanzania's gold, Zambia's copper, South Africa's uh, platinum, and the coal and the Botswana's diamonds are all dominated by British companies. They have mines and the mineral rights in 37 African countries and they control a vast area of Africa's land. 
that area is at a staggering number of 1.03 million square kilometers on the continent. This is over four times the size of UK. And they still want to control more. How are they going to achieve it? By using African hooligans like Kagame and Museveni to expand their control over the continent. Imagine, this is all about Britain, by the way. We're not talking about the United mm -hmm. States, France, or, or China. No. Only Britain. They control a territory which is full of minerals, which is four times greater than the size of the United Kingdom. If you cannot be appalled by this, I don't know what else you, I, I can say to you. Mm -hmm. And this is only Britain. I have not talked about the United States or France. And they are controlling that much land. And they are not talk, we are not talking about the swamps, but area which has minerals. So you can see why for them, it is a blessing to have a, Hooligans like Museveni and Kagame, because they are using this. There was one other white man, I think it was an American. He said, when these Africans gained independence, we were worried that we may lose access to their resources. But for some reason, thank God, we found a way of planting African bastards into positions of power so that they can do the dirty work for us of maintaining access to their resources for virtually zero price. It is no wonder that after we got independence, there was a period of coups after coups so that the whole concept of democratic governance patriotic and nationalistic politics in Africa disappear. And they did, they did. Then we get military hooligans who are being trained in overseas military academies, be it Sandhurst or the French Legionnaires or American, uh, what is it called, where Kagame went to school in the, uh, Leavenworth, whatever the name is in uh, Alkens. And, and, and yeah, now, if you look at the African continent, how many leaders do we have who have been directly elected by their people, independent of the influence of the Western capitalist countries? You can't easily find one. When we got one, they kill him. That young man in Burkina Faso, this man in Tanzania, Pombe Magufuli, what else can I say? Now we have people who are nothing but the puppets of these exploiters. This is something that is killing the continent. And we Africans are going to die because we have failed to understand that we have dangerous lions around the crowd who are using our own people like Museveni and Kagame.